you've ever wondered how many native mammals exist within the UK and what they all are, then I've made this video for you. This is one of five videos that are going to be introducing you to the 27 native land-living mammals in the UK and to show you how they're all related to each other. In this video, we're going to take a look at all of our native voles, beavers and hares. As we go through each of the species, we're going to see how they all relate to each other by building a cladogram. A cladogram is a diagram that depicts evolutionary relationships of species. If you've never heard of one before and would like to understand more about them and scientific classification systems, then make sure you do check out the video that I've made on those, which I've linked to in the description below. Otherwise, let's get straight into our mammals. In part one of this mammal series, we took a look at these first five mammal species, all rodents. The first three species in this video are our native voles, which is a group of species that is more closely related to our mice than any other native mammals. We're going to start over here with the field vole. Field voles have greyish brown fur above and creamy grey fur below. This fur can have a shaggy appearance, but in spring they will molt the dense winter fur to cope with seasonal temperature changes. Their tail is short, at less than 30% of the length of their 10 cm long body, and they only weigh 30 grams. With 70 million individuals, field voles are thought to be the most common British mammal and are widespread. However, they are absent from many of the smaller islands as well as Northern Ireland. And even in their main habitats, they are rarely seen thanks to their habit of tunneling through dense grass. Field voles prefer open, ungrazed grasslands where they can make these tunnels, but they are found in any habitats where grass is available. At the base of grass tussocks or within underground burrows, you may spot nests of shredded grass and leaves that field voles have been using. As well as helping them nest, grass is one of their major food sources. Interestingly, the number of young that kestrels and owls can rear increases when field voles numbers are higher. The closest relative to field voles in the UK are water voles. With a 200 gram weight, water voles are much bigger than our other native vole species. They have glossy fur that is between dark chestnut brown and black. Their tail extends to half the length of their body. Water voles are widespread across Britain, but are less common on higher ground and rarer in northern Scotland. They aren't found in Northern Ireland. These voles mainly live on banks of slow rivers that are lined with dense vegetation. They live in extensive burrow systems within these banks, nesting in chambers in the steepest part of the bank and using underwater entrances. Above the burrows, lawns of nibbled grass will surround the area due to the water vole's habit of sitting and eating in the same place. They are known to feed on 227 plant species, mainly eating vegetation found at the waterside. If a water vole is disturbed, it will dive into the water and swim away with the top of its head and its back just about visible. Water voles are legally protected in Britain since they've disappeared from 94% of their former sites. This is largely due to a combination of predation from the invasive American mink, habitat degradation and pollution. Our third native vole is the bank vole. These are our smallest native vole at only 9 centimeters long and weighing 25 grams. They have reddish brown fur above and creamy grey fur below, with richer colours than the similar looking field vole and a proportionally longer tail. This tail is about half the length of their body and is black on the top but white below. Bank voles are found across Britain, but have a patchier distribution in northern Scotland. This species is found in gardens, woodlands and farmlands. They make a nice nest out of grasses and will live in a shallow burrow or even above the ground if the soil isn't good enough for digging. Bank voles eat plant material like leaves, seeds and fruits. They are very active and are frequently seen visiting bird tables. The Welsh Scoma Island has bank voles that have evolved into a unique subspecies called the Scoma vole, which are larger and bolder than bank voles in Britain. Our final native rodent in the UK is the beaver. Although beavers were hunted to extinction here 500 years ago, in 2009 a trial reintroduction was successful, and since then breeding pairs are now found in regions of Scotland and England. In 2021, the first official breeding pair was released into a nature reserve in Wales. It's estimated that 168 beavers existed in Britain in 2018, and that this has since increased to over 400, with some populations being fully wild and others in large fenced enclosures. Despite being a reintroduced native species, beavers don't actually have any legal protections in the UK. As our largest rodent, the beaver is easily identified. It can measure up to a metre long, with a large, broad, flattened tail that measures 30 centimetres long. It has brown fur and large orange front teeth. 
Its webbed hind feet help its aquatic lifestyle, with its favoured habitat being in woodlands that are near slow-moving water sources. Beavers have a diet made up of aquatic plants, but they will also eat grasses and tree bark. They will cache their foods at the bottom of the river during winter. Beavers are well known for their dams. They use their large teeth to fell trees and divide them into smaller branches. They then drag them into place in rivers to restrict the water flow and create ponds of still deep water. These ponds provide a safe haven for beavers to construct lodges. They make lodges out of woody debris and soil, with an entrance below the waterline leading up to a nest chamber built up above the water level inside the lodge. These lodges have chimney-like structures which help them regulate the temperature. Our last species today is the mountain hare. Although this species isn't a rodent, I've included this to round off our rodent videos because all of our other native mammals sit on a whole separate branch that separated from this group a long time ago. Mountain hares have a greyish brown coat in summer that turns white in the winter, with only the ear tips staying black. They live in Scotland and Northern England, as well as a subspecies known as the Irish hare that lives in Northern Ireland. I have made a more detailed video about mountain hares if you want to go and check that one out to learn more about them. Did you know about all of the rodent species native to the UK? Keep an eye out for the next video in this series where I'm going to be introducing you to even more mammals that live here. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.